first thing you have to do is you have to know how large your file in After Effects is going to be. What and what that means is what dimensions you're going to use. So if, for example, your uh, movie is going to be 640 by 480, then you need to think about how is the snow going to move in the After Effects file and plan accordingly when you create it in your Photoshop file. Now I know that sounds kind of confusing, but I think it will make sense. For example, I'm going to go ahead and open up um, files that I have created beforehand and I found uh, this image right here in uh, morguefile.com and yes indeedy that is a building and uh, I'm going to use my move tool over here just so you can see what's going on and I have already made a selection where I have done a selection where the basket basically is on its own layer and uh, I'm going to then have a bird file open and the bird actually came from I believe this this file nope I lied came from this file originally all right, which I also found on morgue files. So I extracted this bird and uh, created a Photoshop document of the bird. And you'll notice that the bird now has two wings and that is because I created it uh, as a copy of the other wing. So if you look at the layers down here you will see that the background layer, the bottom layer in this document, is the body of the bird with no wings. I then just took, I extracted the bird first from its background, and let me open that up just so you can see what that looked like again. Uh, this one, yes. This was the original file, and you can see that I did some adjustments. I made it so that you could see a little bit more detail in the bird and uh, that would be for another tutorial. Anyway, I just extracted the bird from its background and then I used the lasso tool and selected the wing. This is what it looked like in the original. And uh, I selected the wing and I cut the wing off and put it onto its own layer and then I took and all I did to create this other copy of the wing, I will show you here. I just took the wing up copy and did Command J or Control if you're on a PC, Control J. Um, made a copy of the wing. And here's where the magic happens. I'm going to turn that off. The wing up is gone. It's still there, but you can't see it. And the wing up copy, I just did uh, Command T or Control T on a PC. And uh, I just brought this down and actually just flipped it that way. Then I turned it just a little bit so it would kind of fit. And then brought it up here, matched it up, hit the uh, return or the enter key, whichever software or uh, OS you're on. And uh, I'm moving this around now using my arrow keys. And now there I have a copy of the wing down and of the wing up. And they're on separate layers so that I can swap these out for one another in After Effects and make it appear as though the bird is flapping its wings as it flies across the sky of this picture. Okay, so I have all of these things previously set up, so that'll take you a little while to do in Photoshop, but all I need for you to do for the snow movie tutorial is to find a background image that would be kind of a snowy scene that has something in it that you can extract. In this case it was the building you see down here, I was able to extract out 
just the building and then this part's irrelevant okay because I want it to appear as though it's flying behind the building okay um, and if you want to kick this up an extra little notch and why not because hey it's fun what you could do if you so desire would be to cut the basket in half the whole picture in half do uh, command shift J or control shift J on a PC and what I've done is I've taken that picture and I have now cut it in half so that I could put those on two separate layers. It's four o'clock. Yes, it is four o'clock. Thank you, computer. And I could have the bird appear to fly between these. So uh, let me uh, show you how to do that in After Effects later. But now I've got all of these things are open in Photoshop and what I really need to pay attention to now is this is going to be my central image in After Effects and uh, I've got it set so that the, I'm not moving the background in this image at all. This image is merely going to stay as a static background image. I am going to move the bird when I bring it in and I will move the snow layer but I will not move this image. I won't be doing any panning or zooming on this particular image. So what I need to do though is to come up here and come to image, image size, and then pull this up so I can see it. And what I need to do is I need to make sure that this resolution is not 300, all right? I want this to be 72 because it doesn't need to be 300. So I'm going to change it to 72. Whoopsie. I'm going to change it to 72, but I'm also going to tell it to resample the image first. All right. So if you screwed up, all you have to do, this is a beautiful thing. When you are in any dialog box in Photoshop, hold down the Alt or the Option key and it will change your cancel button into a reset button and you can then take everything back to the way it was when you first started so I'm going to uncheck I'm going to pull that up so you can see or move it over or down there you go uh, I'm going to uncheck the resample image box okay right here and I'm going to change this to 72 pixels per inch all right, and now I am going to trim out. I want it to be 640, and somewhere in the vicinity of 480, that's fine with me. I'm going to say OK, and I have now, I'm going to go back and double check, I have resampled this image down to 72 pixels per inch. All right, and I'm going to say OK. And I know that 400, where was that? 457 pixels is the height of this image. So that is what I will make my After Effects composition. My After Effects composition will be 640 pixels wide by 457 pixels wide, or tall. All right. So. The reason I need to know that is because the snow, since I'm going to be animating it coming from the top to the bottom, needs to be taller than 457. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and close this out. And I am, whoop, cancel first. I'm going to name this. Um, I'm going to put basket half, just so I know what that is. Now, Command-S to save. 